anatomy and physiology of the nervous system. So our nervous system is our main regulatory and communication system in our body. And there's three functions. There's sensory, which notices the changes in our environment. There's integrative, which interprets that information and then moves it along the neurons. And then there's motor, which interprets, which brings about the appropriate action, which tells us what to do. Our nervous system also sends signals to our endocrine system to tell our body what hormones we need to secrete. So we have two parts to our uh, nervous system. There's the central nervous system, which is our brain and spinal cord, our command center. This um, processes all the sensory information and it goes all the way through the CNS system. Then there's the peripheral nervous system, and this is broken down into two other systems, and this would be the parasympathetic and the sympathetic system. So we have our sympathetic system, which is fight or flight, and this is adrenergic, and it uses epinephrine and norepinephrine. This is what happens when you're scared, right? Parasympathetic is rest and restore or rest and digest. This is cholinergic. It uses acetylcholine. And this is what happens when you're calm and sitting and watching TV. So your parasympathetic system, this causes your body to salivate. It slows down your heart rate. It uh, contracts your bronchioles. Um, and it... Um, increases the GI motility and this works on the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Then there's your sympathetic system which dilates your pupils, right, inhibits flow of saliva, pumps up your heart rate, dilates your bronchioles, and it decreases your GI motility while sending blood to your skeletal tissues, i.e. so you can run. And this works on those neurotransmitters norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine. So we need to remember that there's no sympathy for a pair of ACEs. So norepinephrine is secreted by our sympathetic nervous system, while acetylcholine is secreted by our parasympathetic nervous system. So we also have some receptors called alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, beta-2. So alpha-1 is found in our smooth muscles. It increases our blood pressure as well as calling mydriasis, which is dilation of the pupils. Then there's alpha-2. This is found on the postganglionic sympathetic nerve endings. And this causes inhibition of norepinephrine, which then causes sedation and analgesia. It also causes decrease of the blood pressure and cardiac output. There's beta-1. Beta-1 is located in your heart. It helps to increase the rate conduction as well as contractility of your heart. And then there is beta-2, and this is found on the smooth muscles of your lungs. It works with, bron it dilates your bronchioles as well as your skeletal blood vessels. The last one that's not on the slide is dopaminergic, and it's located in your renal, mesenteric, and cerebral arteries. And this, when you release this, it causes dilation of the cor coronary, mesentery, and renal blood vessels. So that was a quick overview of the anatomy and physiology of the nervous system.